We've all been there. You're rushing to finish a project and bam, blue screen of death. Or maybe your computer's slower than a snail. These tech gremlins can strike anyone, anytime. But fear not. You don't need to be a tech wizard to fix common hardware issues. Many problems have surprisingly simple solutions. A little know-how can save you time, money, and a whole lot of frustration. Think of it like this. You don't need to be a mechanic to change a tire, right? So, let's roll up our sleeves, grab our metaphorical toolboxes, and learn to conquer those pesky hardware hiccups. Trust me, with a bit of guidance, you'll be surprised what you can fix yourself. Let's get started. Before we dive into the trenches, let's gather our weapons. Don't worry, I'm not talking about anything dangerous. Just a few basic tools to make our lives easier. First up, a Phillips head screwdriver. This little guy is essential for opening computer cases and dealing with components. Next, we need a can of compressed air. Dust is a computer's worst enemy, and this is our weapon of choice against those pesky dust bunnies. Anti-static wrist strap is optional, but highly recommended. It prevents static electricity from damaging sensitive components. Trust me, you don't want to be the reason your motherboard goes kaput. Finally, a bright flashlight. Because peering into the dark depths of your computer shouldn't feel like exploring a cave. These simple tools will empower you to tackle most common hardware issues like a pro. Now, let's move on to our first patient, the sluggish computer. One of the most common culprits behind a sluggish computer is overheating. And the main reason for overheating? You guessed it, dust. Over time, dust accumulates inside your computer, clogging fans and preventing proper airflow. This leads to components getting hotter than they should, resulting in performance drops and even crashes. The solution? A good old-fashioned cleaning. Power down your computer, unplug it, and open the case. Refer to your computer's manual if needed. Now, grab your trusty can of compressed air and aim for those dust bunnies. Blow air into all the nooks and crannies, especially around fans, heat sinks, and the motherboard. Remember to be gentle and use short bursts of air to avoid damaging any components. Once you're done, close up the case, plug everything back in, and power on your computer. You should notice a significant improvement in speed and responsiveness. Remember, a clean computer is a happy computer. Section 4. Problem 2. Noisy computer? Fans gone wild. Is your computer sounding more like a jet engine than a productivity machine? Excessive noise is another common hardware issue, and often the culprit is again those hard-working fans. Over time, fans can accumulate dust and debris, causing them to spin louder and less efficiently. The first step is to identify the noisy fan. Is it the CPU fan, the graphics card fan, or maybe a case fan? Once you've located the troublemaker, it's time for a cleaning. You can use the same compressed air technique as before, but for a more thorough cleaning, you might need to remove the fan from the computer. This usually involves unscrewing a few screws and carefully disconnecting the fan's power cable. Once removed, you can clean the fan blades and surrounding area more effectively. If cleaning doesn't solve the problem, the fan itself might be nearing the end of its life and need replacement. Section 5. Problem 3. Dead peripherals. Check your connections. We've all been there. You sit down at your computer, ready to work, only to find your mouse or keyboard unresponsive. Before you panic, let's try some simple troubleshooting. First, check the obvious. Are the peripherals plugged in properly? It seems silly, but loose connections are a surprisingly common cause of hardware headaches. Try unplugging and replugging the devices, making sure the connections are secure. If that doesn't work, try different USB ports. Sometimes a specific port might be faulty. If you're using a wired keyboard or mouse, inspect the cables for any visible damage. A frayed or damaged cable can disrupt the connection. If you've tried all these steps and your peripherals are still unresponsive, there might be a driver issue. Drivers are like translators between your hardware and software, and outdated or corrupted drivers can cause all sorts of problems. Try updating your drivers, usually available on the manufacturer's website, to see if that resolves the issue. Section 6. Prevention is key outsmarting hardware hiccups. Congratulations. You've now learned to tackle some of the most common computer hardware issues. But the best way to deal with these problems is to prevent them in the first place. Regular maintenance is key to a healthy and happy computer. Think of it like taking your car for regular checkups. Make it a habit to clean your computer's interior every few months, especially if you live in a dusty environment. 
Keep your operating system and drivers updated to avoid compatibility issues. Be mindful of cable management. Tangled and stressed cables can lead to damage and connection problems. And lastly, don't be afraid to consult online resources or seek help from tech-savvy friends when needed. Remember, a little knowledge goes a long way in the world of computers. By following these tips, you can keep your computer running smoothly for years to come. Happy computing!